So let's do one thing. So you, you all know the age old way of doing a paper boat. Observe carefully. How is a paper boat done? We take a sheet of paper, okay? It's gonna be very clear to you people from this angle, but I'm sure most of you already know how to make a paper boat. Now imagine these two people are robots. They know nothing. You, do you know how to make a paper boat? Probably not. No. Correct, good. So I will teach you step by step. You follow exactly what I do. Firstly, this is a rectangle. This is a rectangle, right? I wish to make a square out of it. How do I do that? Just follow whatever I'm doing. We can keep it here. Maybe you can tear this. All that we did was, we made this rectangle a square, right? By crossing it like this, and that's, a, that's the way you make a square, right? And simply do whatever I'm going to tell you people. Collect all the papers here. Look at this. Fold it once like this. and fold it again like this, simple, okay, show it to everyone so that they can see what we are doing and then you see what's happening here, of course I am not going to teach you how to make a boat in this course but I am trying to tell you people that we give instruction and people follow and we get things done, okay let's go ahead, now fold this like this, take one leaf of this and then fold it like this and the rest three leaves will be folded on the other side. This reminds me of this. So you, you then you knew how to make a boat is it? No they never taught you. Really remember. Okay okay good. So what you do is you can fold you should fold it like this basically you should put your finger inside and fold it like this and you'll get something in the form of a kite and then pluck this out, pluck this out like this and you will get a boat, Tada. done all of you. So what is it that I did just now, I instructed a couple of people here on how to make a boat and here we have three boats, correct. So similarly we probably can now make a plane out of paper or any origami art. I do it, I give instructions step by step and you also do it. If you fail to understand my steps, you will not be able to get the board. As simple as that. So, not the exact board. You, might get some other you, shape. you might get some other shape or you may not end up, you might end up getting not, you, may, you might end up not getting a board finally. Right? So what if you get stuck in the middle and it's not opening at all? You force it open and it will tear. <laughs> You'll be tearing the sheet. Right? So the point I'm trying to make is by following a set of instructions, he accomplishes something that I ask him to accomplish. Similarly, your computer can actually understand your instructions when you instruct the right way. Imagine I, I tried giving this instruction in Telugu or Kannada or French or Italian or some other language which you don't understand. You will not be able to accomplish this. Or if there is any ambiguity in the instruction, you will not be able to accomplish this. Right? So what is important here is to talk and give instruction in a way that whether it's a computer or a human being, you are instructing in a way that the, at the other end, the computer understands what you are instructing. Right? Any questions? We didn't discuss anything to have uh, questions. Uh, go ahead. I'll, take I'll just sum up. So, just told that whatever instructions we give for the other person, it must be very clear, crystal clear. Clear, unambiguous, easy to follow, and he must be able to produce whatever you are trying to ask him to produce, him or her. Right? Okay. So, um, this way we can actually make a computer listen to you, take your instruction and then accomplish it and computers have the capability of accomplishing something really really fast.
right?